Hello everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and today I am talking about seven signs that you might be a pantser of novels. I always have to specify that for some reason. Now I feel like I talk about pantsing all the time on this channel and every single time I do a novelty show because I, I live and die by the, the pantsing mantra, but I haven't ever actually done kind of a video like how, how do you know? If, if you are a pantser instead of an outliner. So these are seven signs I came up with that definitely tipped me off or that I've seen in other people. And the first and most obvious one is that you find outlining tedious as hell. You try to sit down to outline and it's, it's just, no, you don't want to. It's a chore. It's homework. It's torture. It's painful. Yeah, I mean, that's the most obvious sign. You don't like outlining. And really, the second sign is the mere thought of kind of breaking down every single aspect of your plot, of your characters, of your world, doing those like worksheets. It overwhelms you. You don't even want to think about it. Like, literally, people talk about like coming up with personality types for their characters and doing it, it really detailed profiles or or really literally there's the detail of every moment of every scene no <laughs> no I, I feel a cold sweat coming on even thinking about that pretty clear sign maybe you're you're not an outliner a planner of novels now the third sign and this is a more recent one I have discovered by doing by trying always trying to become an outliner. And that is if you do attempt to outline, you get somewhere, you can outline act one, kind of, you can outline act three, like you kind of know what happens, especially if you're familiar with beats. And I'll tell you, being a pantser doesn't mean you're not familiar with structural beats and you can't follow them. But the act two, the second part of the outline, the middle is impossible. It's it's just not gonna happen. I find that's a pretty strong sign that you're a pantser, i.e. a discovery writer. You have to write the book to discover all of those plot threads and character threads. And I've noticed this with more than one writer that like me, act two is just impossible as a pantser. The fourth sign, again, with trying to do the thing is you have actually produced a few outlines, but the mere act of outlining basically makes you bored. You already know the story and so you don't write it. Or the fifth sign, you've outlined and you've started writing projects and you fizzle on every single one. These are signs that you might be a pantser because essentially by outlining everything ahead of time, by planning everything ahead of time, you do bore yourself and you're gonna fizzle when you try to actually write them because you are a discovery writer. You thrive off of discovering the story as you write it. And so less planning on the front end is better for you. But that doesn't mean you don't like brainstorming. And sign number six that you might be a pantser is brainstorming is actually one of your favorite parts of the process. You like thinking kind of holistically and from a top line level about the characters and the world, but it's not necessarily settling on details and creating that plot, but it's kind of stewing in all of the elements that are going to make this an exciting project for you, but not necessarily that you can then commit those things to a firm outline and predetermined plot. And this all brings me to sign number seven, the big one that should really be a tip off, and that is that sitting down to write and not having a plan, not knowing exactly what you're going to be working on, or if you know what you're going to be working on right now today, you don't know what you're going to be writing tomorrow, well, that excites you. You're excited by the mere process of sitting down in front of your file and identifying the problem of the day, where your character is and where you kind of know they need to get, and then on the fly coming up with conflict and solutions and vomiting it all out onto the page. That entire process excites you. That is what makes writing fun for you. Well, 
you're probably a pantser. And here's the thing, neither style is better than the other, plotting or pantsing, outlining or not outlining. And also, most writers aren't all one thing. Some of these signs I pointed out actually involve partial planning, partial outlining. You can figure out act one, but you can't figure out act two before you start writing. Or you have a general idea of your plot structure, of your midpoint turn or your break into three. You just can't figure out everything before you start writing. And there are even outliners who for certain books have less detail on their outline before they start, but the process of outlining brings them joy and zen as they write. It's a matter of kind of finding the style that works for you. And I do encourage all writers, whether you're going to end up being a pantser discovery writer or not, is to try outlining. Because outlining is a great planning tool. It's a great thing. I outline all other things in my life, including these videos, and yet I just can't outline a novel. But I had to discover that by trying, and I came up with so many of these signs by trying to be an outliner, by trying to follow the status quo with writing. But I discovered a ton of writers, including published famous writers, this is their process as well. They are discovery writers, which is almost really a better way to put it. I feel like plotting versus pantsing, it's very adversarial, very black and white. But if you do identify with any of these seven signs, multiple of them, just a few of them, or all of them, welcome to the family. You're gonna hear a lot of people trying to convince you that you're wrong, <laughs> that your process is wrong, but you do you and learn to edit. Because I will say the downside of pantsing is you're probably gonna have to edit more. So I do have videos on that, which I will link to down below because I wanna help out my pantser fam. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will make more videos about figuring out what kind of writer you are or about pantsing listicles. Who doesn't love listicles? If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. I post two to three times a week all about writing, craft, publishing, and so on. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy writing and happy pantsing to my novel pantsing fam.